that at him. Yeah, well, you guess guess what, Chris? Those ads aren't going anywhere until you answer a few questions of mine. Because I'm sick of being nice to you. What are you? I've been nice. Well, I've been nice questions? to you for too long. Well, first of all, your apology video completely unsatisfactory. You didn't mention anything of what you were apologizing for. You just said, "Oh, I'm apologizing for some of the things I said." Is that supposed to include the death threats, Chris? Because you should probably mention that specifically. Yes, it did include the past death threats. Okay, well, I think I'd like you to make a, a better apology video. And uh, in, in your second okay. apology video, I want you to um, not spend 80% of the video making demands of me. Because, see, an apology video should be just that. It should be apologizing for when you did something wrong. Do you think you've done something wrong to me, Chris? Do you think you have? Do I, I think, think you I, have. Do I think I have done anything wrong to you? Yes, do you think? Well, yes, I, I, yes, I admit that I have done wrong to you, Alec. Okay. By this, this mislabelings and this, of mis, uh, mistakes and errors, and I apologize. Mislabelings, kind of like, kind of like what a troll would do, isn't that right? Well, why don't you list all the things uh, you did wrong? List them specifically, because, because I want to make sure. You know, I don't want to just tell you to make a more specific video if you don't know specifically. So please list the things that you think you did wrong to me. Okay. I will. I'm waiting. Do you have a I mean, list now. now I'd, uh, I'd like to hear you say now. All right, Alec, I'm sorry for mislabeling you. And giving you your, giving you death threats. What did you mislabel me as, Chris? And being, mislabeling, mislabeling you as a villain type of person. Yeah, yeah, that was pretty bad and, of you, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay, continue. All right. Anything else? I'm asking you. I'm asking you to continue oh. with the list. Oh. Uh, let's see. That's right. Slangling, calling it, making it out like a villain. How about, uh, here, here's a hint. Um, is there is there anyone close to me, a friend perhaps, that maybe you've, you've mislabeled as well, that you've done wrong against? Can you think of any? Let me guess, Devin. You got it right. You got it right. You have wronged Evan. Do you know how you've wronged Evan? Or labeling him it's as that an origin point for Sonoma. Um, no, actually, actually, that was the correct thing. That was the one correct thing you did was labeling him as the origin point of Sonoma, because that's what he was. Okay. What's the wrong thing you did to him? Mm, I yelled at him too. Uh, there's a bit. There's a there's a there's a bigger issue. You stole you stole Simon Shoe from him. There, I gave that one to you, and you won't give his character back. What do you think of that? He can have his. Do you think he can have his Simon Shoe? Simonla, Simonla is Simon Shoe. You just you no, took his Simon Shoe and twisted Simon it around. Shoe. That's what your Simon Chu article on your Wikipedia says. It says Simone was based off Simon Chu. Well, you know, Chris, I find that. it. I, 
Chris, I told you last time, it doesn't matter if you go change the article now. That doesn't change what was in the past. You cannot write a new article in the present and change what happened in the past. You used Simon Chu if I can, as I the can basis of Simon. Simone... Yes, I can. Simona I can is based off Simon Chu. Doesn't matter. Okay, uh, Chris, let me let me let me think of an example for you. Um, let's say that I take Family Guy, and you know you know Peter Griffin on Family Guy. Let's say that I make a comic. And I just use Peter Griffin as my, you know, main character in my comic. And I do that for a few years. And then Seth MacFarlane comes knocking on my door and says, hey, you didn't ask for permission to use Peter Griffin. Do you think it's okay for me to just right then change it and say, oh, okay, I'm just going to pretend like I never based my Peter Griffin off of Family Guy? Do you think that would solve the problem? You can't retract a fact. Hmm. Thing. Does that make sense? I yeah. find it. Uh, I think my, the, personally, I am most offended by your accusations of me stealing your Sonichu and of Aspertu being a theft of of you and all of that. When all along you had been stealing Simon Chu from someone else. Why is um, plagiarism okay for you if it's not okay for anyone else? Why is parody Sorry, okay for you? Okay, Chris, why is parody and plagiarism, why are those concepts okay for you to do, but they're not okay for anyone else to do? Will you tell me that? Hmm. Uh. Okay, I guess I cannot think of a good answer for that. Yeah, that's because there really isn't one. You understand that, right? The same rules have to apply to everyone. You don't get different rules than other artists. You need to atone for your mistakes. Yeah. I want you to... One of these things I want you to do before I take, have Mao take down the ads, I want you to, in your comic, issue a full apology to Evan and admit that Simonla and Simon Chu are not your characters and you used them wrongfully without his permission and you are going to retire them. Not really that hard to do. I mean, Simonla hasn't even appeared in your comic recently, so it's not like you're you're going to hurt your plot line if you just issue an admission that you're not going to use her anymore. Hmm. Well, I'll think about that. Not good enough. My ads aren't going down unless you say yes to that. That's one of my conditions. I have several, because I've got several problems with you. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, I will think about that. Okay. Uh, another problem. I want you to apologize to me for calling me naive. Okay. You remember uh, when I tried to talk to you about that? You remember when I tried to talk to you about that when you hung up with me? Because you think naive yeah, is such I'm a horrible sorry, insult. You naive. Do you believe I am That's naive? Yes, and I'm sorry for calling you naive. Now I do not do you, believe you do, are naive. Well, good. You know, I don't think naive is that bad of a word, but what means the most is that you think it's a bad thing and you still used it. You meant it to mm. be a horrible insult. That's the problem here. I want you to put that in your new apology video for me. Okay. You might you might want to get a, a pen and paper and just write these things down because there's there's a few points here. I don't want you to forget okay. any of them. Yeah. You can't just apologize to me over I the phone. Yeah. You have to make. It. It. Yeah, I'll write it down. Okay. Uh, you're. Are down. you writing it down now? What are the uh, yeah. main things that I want you to do? List them off to me, just so I know that you're with me so far. Okay, I'm apologizing for. 
giving it de- for cursing you, giving you death threats, calling you naive, 